Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking kids projector. It is done by a company called VanQ and it is modeled MIR120. It also stands for Miracle 120. This projector not only looks very, very nice, it also go on to project up to 300 inches for you. I want to mention that this is a 480p native resolution. This is really good for birthday present or for holidays that is coming up. You can purchase it. It is very inexpensive. And do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all in order for you to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos in a little more detail every time. Alright, you can see that the box is really nicely designed and once we open the box itself, And taking everything out one by one. And here are all the components that are part of this projector. You will receive a HDMI cable and it is about a meter long. It also comes with a power adapter. You can see the connector that is going to be connected to the projector. And the power brick itself is a little bit big. But you can see that this is 20 volt and 3 amps. It also comes with a little remote. Now the remote is always the same from VanQ. They're all look the same, but what I really like is their name is always on it. So you never misplace, or if you have more than one of the projectors, you will not go to use the wrong one. So here you go. You can see that it has all of the proper buttons in the front. It is made out of plastic and silicon, and you can see the power there, the mute, also play and pause your navigation keys properly there too. Return menu and also source button. And you also have the volume down and volume up. Now, if you look in the back, the top part of it, you have the higher sensor, the part that will not make it wobble. And on the bottom is where you're gonna put two batteries, which is AAA batteries and the batteries are not included. And yes, don't worry, I didn't break it. There's a little part that you have to open in order for you to put the batteries in, which we will do in a few seconds. Now the big moment is going to be the actual projector itself comes in a nice bag. As usual, these guys always taking care of little things to make a big difference. This is how the actual bag look. I really like it. It has a pink in the bottom. Then you have baby blue on the top and also their name is on one side of it. Now if you look on one side, you have a little bag so you can put some accessories there. Go in the back, you have a nice zipper that you can open and you can put more stuff in there, maybe wire or the actual remote. And then once you go on the top, you have a nice zipper that goes both ways that you can open. And once you open it, you have some more little guidelines, some paperwork on the top, which we will cover in a few seconds. Go to put that aside. And then go in, you have a nice Velcro and once you open it, it has two little holes here for the actual ears that is part of this projector. We will cover that in a few seconds, but let's just take it out and just pick it up a little bit, little by little, so it can come out. And there you go. We're going to put the bag aside. It comes with this user manual, which is really cool. The way that they have named it is called Miracle 120 and or it's called MIR120. That is beautiful. Again, when you go into it, it will teach you everything about the connections in a nice way. And this is big enough for anybody to look into. I'm sure that you will learn this very quickly. Has everything covered. And you can see the native resolution it says is it is 480i. It says 800 by 400, but you can put input up to 1080p. And it is, source slice is LED, but the display technology is LCD. We will cover everything in this video, so I'm sure that you're going to learn a lot from this. It also comes with this quick start guide, so this way you can get you up and running in nanoseconds. Here you go, this is how it looks. Going in the back part of it, you have all the information. It will teach you what to do and what not to do. And also some more. If you need help, you can contact them. All right, so the big moment is the actual projector. It's sitting inside of this plastic once we take it out. 
here you go this is how it looks I really like this design in the front also you have the IR sensor their name on the bottom and then also you have a huge cap for the actual lens so when you take it out it comes off very easily I really like that little leg in the bottom and then you have a lot of holes for ventilation then going to the back this is the IR sensor you have a headset jack you also have one HDMI connection, two USB connections, and then the DC so you can power it up. Again on the other side also you can see the two legs and here is the actual speaker where you can listen to the sound. As you can see on the top that you have the power button, you have the menu button, source button and then the return key. Don't forget that you do have the remote. It is mandatory for you to use your remote more than the buttons right on top of your projector. Now this dial right here is created for your focus and it is manual focus so you have to bring it back and forth in order for you to play with the focus itself. On the other side of it you have another little ear look alike and that one is also a knob that you can go back and forth. This is only going to give you 15 degrees for your keystone correction. So just to demonstrate here you go this is how you're going to be able to move this back and forth for your keystone. And then when it comes for the actual focus, you just have to bring this out and you can see the lens coming out. And also you can go back. This is phenomenal. This is so cool. So once you turn it on for the very, very first time, you should see the screen. Again, for me, since I'm playing so much, it's a little bit pixelish. I will go through and show you exactly how much pixel you'll get if you set really near to it. But once you start playing your videos, forget about it. It's really good. It is going to be nice and clean. Again, you can go through it and you can play with it as much as you want. I got to mention to you that this is nice and smooth. One thing I have to mention that since I just turned this on, it is in a dark room, total pitch dark room. There's nothing around it that will shine a little bit off color. So it is nice and dark. If you want to play this on a daylight room or if you have an ambient light, I will show you in a few seconds exactly how it will look. I will show you exactly what I mean when you're turning on the light. So here you go. This is how it really looks when you are going to play it with your regular light. Again, you can see that it is very bright, but you can see the whites are showing properly and the darks are showing a little bit faded. But if you want to play this during the daytime, it is not a TV. So you have to understand that this projector is created for a really dark room so you can view your videos. Again, it is made for kids so you can play your cartoons on this. It will look beautiful. So here you go. This is the white light on how much it shows up for you. It is out of 200 and you can see that it is running roughly about 90. It's not bad. It is not very bright, but it will do the job for you accurately if you want to play with this with kids and you want to play some videos. Now we go to test it with an actual beam sound and this way we can see exactly how loud it can get. So this is roughly about 80. So you did see that the average sound quality from the actual projector is very loud. It's about 80.6 as a maximum. I really like that. So this way you have a proper sound out of your projector. So you do not need to have a extra speakers around. Unless you want to get a surround sound, then go ahead and connect it to the headset jack that I have in the back of this projector. And then you can take advantage of that. You can see that it pixels really much, but once you go back, it start to disappear. That's what it's really good to have this type of projector, which is not expensive. Again, this is good for kids and you can watch your movies and videos. So here are some really cool details and menus that are part of this projector itself. So number one, if you go to actual menu, you will be able to see the three settings in the bottom as you can see right now but my part that i really enjoy is going to be your reduced display size really want to look at this 
it looks really cool. And now you will be able to resize this as really small, about 75%. There you go. So this way, if you have a smaller room or you want to project it smaller for your kids, so that way you do not sit really close to the actual screen, you can fix it very easily. But this is the minimum you can get is 75%. Now, if you want to go back to 100% and you want to change it each time to a different percent, it will blink for you. So this way you know that you are playing with it and you're just making it smaller and smaller size by size very, very easily. I will just leave it on 100 so we can do our video in this case. Another cool little option is that you have a button called source. When you click on it, you can go from your actual HDMI that is called HD in this case, and you can take it to USB 1 or USB 2. And that way you can play your videos directly from the USB itself. Now, I do not have anything hooked up right now, but this is how easy it is for you to play your movies, also your music, your photos, or even if you have text, it will play it for you. All the links will be available where you can order this from and also if you want to get more information about this projector from official website, links all going to be available in the bottom of this video. If you have a question about this, don't worry, ask at the bottom of the video, we love to help you out ASAP. On top of that, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xtex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places, and thank you.